Okay, to start off, what I've already done is I've parted my hair in the center, combed each side down, made it a little bit flatter, as you can see. Middle parts don't really look like that on me. Next, I'm going to braid each side, so let's get into that. If you don't have to do a basic braid, you part your hair into three sections, and you pretty much just do over and under. Um, I'm not the best at explaining things that like this, but you just do some over and under, um, and it should start looking like this. This is a really easy braid. You could also do fishtailing or any other complicated braid. Can't really do anything crazy like that. So I'm just basic braiding my hair. For me, that is the easiest. Try to braid down as far as far as you can, um, because we don't want to have a lot extra hair at the end. So braid as far as you possibly can. Um, and once you've gotten down to the bottom, just Secure it with a hair tie. You can also use a la uh, clear elastic, but I don't think I have any. Let me just check. If I do, I will switch it out. Um, I guess I, oh, <laughs> I guess I will have a piece down. Um, as I was saying a little bit before that I got cut off, um, you could have pieces hanging down on the side. Okay, now that I got my two braids, um, they should look something like this. This is as far as I could braid, um, on both sides. You can tell I didn't forget. I have, like, a pretty good amount on both sides. This side's longer. But whatever. We can hide those. So, another thing I get to mention is braiding like this, uh, if you know how to braid, it is a lot faster fishtailing. So, I would recommend this if you're in a... So let's get started with the rest of this. What you're going to do is you are going to just pancake your braid, which is just pulling on your braid to make it larger. Okay, so now that my hair is pancaked, we're going to do each side separately. I think I'm going to do this side first since it has, like, the longer tail at the bottom. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to switch, flip it over and then bring it up and over your head. And then pin it down through the braid. You're going to want to make sure the other side does not poof up. Um, that has been one of the problems I have had recently. So I'll show you how to fix that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pin, when you're pinning this free section, as I like to call it, pin downwards. And this part will get covered, so it doesn't have to be um, perfect when it comes to seeing the pin. Just start pinning and get it till it will stay. Okay, this is good enough for the bottom section. Now I'm going to do this section and you're going to want to hold this part down and bring this up because it will poof. Okay, once you get to this part being like the last thing, you're going to tuck it under. So I'm actually going to take this pin out and then put that back in it. You 
choose how you like this, pretty much, like, the end part. And you can re-pancake if you need to, to fill up some space if it, if it is not, um, doing justice for you. And this is almost what, done. Pull pieces down, as I said, make it have some more style on your face. Uh, why did I use black bobby pins? Um, I really want to know. I'm so, this is the finished look. You can spray it. Um, do a little spray. Spray down the braids. Yeah, I actually really love this. Um, I have been wearing this a lot lately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this finished look. If you recreate it, please send us a picture on Instagram or send us an email. We think this is a really cute look. So please hit that thumbs up button. Um, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And share our channel. We are trying to get 100 subscribers by Christmas so we can do a Christmas giveaway. So if you want to see a giveaway and maybe win, make sure you get us to 100 subscribers on YouTube. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.